My name is Vanika. I study in BRS Global School. My, my section is 2B. I developed this game called Hungry Cat. Now I'm gonna explain you how it works. If the cat hit eats the food, the score increases. And if the cat touches the bed, the cat dies. See, you, the cat is eating the food and the score is 2. Now let me show you about the bat. Uh, if the cat touches the bat, the bat will switch to game over. Now I'm gonna show you, you how I developed this game. So, I, if, if the game starts, the score is set to 0 and this the life is set to one and if the cat touches the bat the score sets life to zero these these are the control buttons if i press right it go right arrow it goes right and if i press left arrow it goes left if i press up arrow it goes up and if i press down arrow it goes down now let me show you about the taco. So the taco, so we, I have put big random 0 to 2, so it doesn't wait here. And it set x to 235, it's somewhere here. And it has set y to big random and minus 124 and minus and 144 it's still here to here and if life is equal to zero then hide so if life is zero then it hides and change x by minus 10 it goes left continuously and change score by once and it, it gives a point to the cat now let me show the, you the costumes of bat. So this is the wings of bat and this is the wings down bat. So if the so it's also I all I have put the same coat in the taco. I have only deleted the cat the if touching cat then hide score by one. So, wait 0.1 seconds next costume. So, when it's flying, it changes the costume. And I have put the same coat from the door to the doorknob and the strawberry. Now, I'm showing you about the backdrop. So, when so when the game starts, it switches it just to backdrop blue sky. And if life is equal to zero, then it switch, switches spectrum to game over and waits. This is how I developed this game. Thank you.